Yeah, I was super excited. I'm like, oh my god, I don't have to go buy the girls um, anything to do their hair and stuff now because you know every year is what I do too. Well, even not throughout the year when I'm doing my my girls' hair, I like to buy stuff to put in their hair to you know do their hair. So I'm like, you saved me a lot of money. I don't have to go to the stores and go, um, you know, buy stuff for the hair. Save me money. So yeah, I was super super nice to her, right? I was like, oh my god, thank you so much. And girl, she could have kept on giving me. I'm not gonna lie, she could have kept on, kept on giving me more stuff. But I'm like, no, because she had a lot of it. I'm like, no, this is all I need, and this will last me for a while, and it will. Like she gave me two of these, and this is all I really need. And I only get like a little drop of it, and I put it in my girl's hair. I probably put it in my hair too, because it'll probably make it look a little silk. But I don't know. I just did my hair. I just dyed it, so I don't want to destroy it. I don't want to put anything in it, because when I have black, I really didn't put nothing in it like that. Like nothing I, I i hardly really straightened it i just straightened it when i went out or something and you know it looked real silky and pretty and i don't want to kill my hair i don't want to destroy my hair no more like i want my hair back guys i want my old hair back i, I gotta get it back i'm gonna get it back take me a while but i'll get there so yeah all these little products right here we will be using look at this little boy look look this is why I, look this is why i let him in my room put it on my bed baby so i can hang that up you see? You're dropping Where stuff. Papa? Come on, baby. Look, he just has to be he just has to be going through stuff. Like he's just nosy like that. He is just nosy rosy. Baby, get off of mama's dresser. Look, look. He wants to see what's up there now. Oh look, this is one of my, this is one of my favorite perfumes, guys. Polo Be Polo Blue. Trust me, you will not regret it. No. This is the best perfume anybody could ever freaking use like i have to use this one it's either this one or 360 okay. but this is my best one right here come on baby all right and look let me just be honest this is just being completely honest um the other day before we had went to the park we go walk because i know we go walk all the time i had did my little girl's hair the little bitty on the back of me was being nosy rosy i had did her hair with these products well only with one of them and if I'm not mistaken, it's this kid one. I'm not sure which one I use, honestly. But a little bit after that, she had broke out in hives everywhere. I'm not saying it was from those products because I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It could have been that or it could have been some candies that her dad had got her that I think she was probably allergic to. I'm not, I'm not even sure. But, man, she broke out in hives really, really bad. All right, guys. Well, I did have plans to go to... Um, what did, I, what did I type? To go to the store. Me and the kids were going to go to the store and stuff. But, man, be honest with you, I don't know if y'all have seen. And I'm pretty sure this is going on in a lot of different states right now. The numbers are getting bad. Like, you know, with everybody getting sick. Like, it's getting really, really bad. Why am I typing Walmart on YouTube? That's how you know. Que soy bien perdida. YouTube. Oh, look, and I'm still typing YouTube. <laughs> Walmart. All right, guys, I'm about to do the Walmart pickup. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, our plans, we're going to go to the store and go um, and go uh, do some grocery shopping and stuff. But that's just the safest thing right now. Yeah, because this virus is getting really, really bad. And I've told you before, guys, the lady that I work for, she runs a couple of hospitals here in Houston. And she said that the hospitals are, like, completely full. It's crazy. So I'm about to just get, on, get online real quick and do this order so I can pick it up in a second. Order. And... I wanted it to be done um, by 1 o'clock, but it's not because I'm ordering too, too, well, not too, too late, but, well, yeah, I'm ordering too, too late. If I would have done my order this morning, then I would have got it by 1, but since I'm doing it at this time, which is going, well, not even going on 12, it's 11.15 a.m. So, I have my pickup time today at 3 o'clock. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. That's really, really rude. What does that mean? So... Um, it says it'll give me to 11.45. I don't make any changes. No, I don't want to make any changes. So, yeah, we got our grocery um, order ready to go. And now I'm going to go slip on a little bit of makeup. I barely finished cleaning. I just mopped. Do you, uh, you know, my our kids supposed to be starting school next week. So I'm getting a lot of stuff done because starting next week and the kids go back to school. I got to go back to work. Not all week, but a couple of days out of the week. Like, not like normal like it has been ever since the pandemic hit um i probably went like three days out of the week four days sometimes and now it's gonna be going more days probably like more like five days or four days probably i don't know we'll see what happens but i know for sure i gotta go in mondays and 
I mean Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So yeah, by now that I have time and I'm right here at the, at the house, I am um, I just fixed my bed, look, and it's destroyed already because it's a little rat right here. So now right now they have time and uh, not not even have time, but right now the kids, you know, they're going back to school next week and stuff. We're finishing decluttering and all that. We already finished a lot of stuff. Uh, I think tomorrow we're gonna go to the mall, take a trip to the mall, me, my husband, and all the kids, and um, yeah. go see if we can find some more stuff that we need for school. I already got, I found so many belts for Maya. I bought her like, she already got like 10 belts, different colors. Um, but I wanted to go find her some more little jackets because I went to Old Navy, found her some cute, cute little jackets. Because like I said, she likes to switch up her style and her look and stuff. So I bought her like a lime green one and a yellow one and a blue one. But she wants more. She wants a black one and a white one. And I really don't care, honestly, about getting her the white and all that. Because she takes good, really, really good care of herself. Like when I went to Old Navy the other day, it was just me and her. We went on a little girl's trip. It was just me and her by ourselves. And um, we went to the mall. And uh, we went to Old Navy, and she saw some shoes there. She liked they were all white. My husband's like, I called my husband. I said, hey, because he's the one that told me, if you're going to buy her anything, shoes or anything from Old Navy, because he knows every time I go to Old Navy, I pick them up a pair of shoes because they have really, really cute shoes there, and they're cheap. You'll probably spend like $40, $35, and they're really, really cute shoes. So she wanted some white ones, so I called my husband. My husband's like, well, I don't know, because, you know, she's going to strong. I'm like, no, she's a big girl now. She takes care of all her stuff. So I got her that with a little sweater. I don't know. Maya wants a lot of different stuff, so... We're already on the hunt for her. Um, so, yeah, we have a lot of fun stuff planned. Honestly, I had got us some tickets to go back to the Children's Museum because this time we wanted to go outside. They have a whole area outside where you could do fun science projects. And, like, it's really, really cool there. And um, <clears throat> the last, last, not the last time we went, but this other time we went, we got a chance to make it outside because that place is really big, guys. It might not look that big, but that place is really big and has a lot of different stuff. Well, anyways, I got us our tickets for us to go um, during the week, um, and we won't even be able to do that. We're not going to be doing that, so I have to call and try to see if I cancel my tickets or what, because my husband said he don't, he don't want to go nowhere. He don't want to take the kids out, out like that in public because, you know, of the numbers and stuff, which I understand, you know, it is getting really, really bad. And then with this new virus or whatever it is that came out, like, they're saying if somebody has this virus and you're around them, they can get up to 12 people sick. That's scary. You know, you know, with the coronavirus, you just you could get like a couple of people around you, whoever you're around. So probably this virus could pick up, up to it could pick up up to 12 people. So I don't know. My husband's like, he don't want to go over there. My kids are going to be touching all the stuff over there. A lot of people have been touching it, which is true. You know, a lot of people do touch all the stuff over there. So I'm going to try to see if I can cancel that. And I wanted to take my kids skating. I wanted to go to the skating ring because um, they've never been skating. That was on our bucket list, too. And we can't even do that now. Uh, God, it freaking sucks, man. All this stuff's going on. That We want to take them to that water park um, where they go. Um, it's that big old water park. I don't know what it's called, Splashtown. Oh, no, no, Typhoon, Texas, where my son went. We want to take our kids there, too, and that's not going to be able to happen because we can't take them in all that water and people are in there. They're spitting in there. You already know how the pools are. The pools already disgust me. I, I hate even putting my kids in the pools. And then it makes it even worse going to something big like that. You know, there's a lot of different people in there. People are spitting out and, uh, you know, all that stuff. Like, it, it, it's just disturbing. We, we just can't do that right now. And I hate it because we have plans with our kids to do stuff with them before the summer ended. Even even though we did a lot of good stuff. We did. We had a lot of fun. We always have fun. My kids, guys, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. Like, my kids are not like they want to go out and party and go to all these different places. My kids are really, really simple. We take them to jump rope for like an hour. They're good are for like two hours even though we go we could stay for like two hours they could jump their life away we go to the park we have picnics we go to the parks that are outside that they have water outside the kids can play outside we don't have to be inside that's our whole thing is being inside shut in with other people we just we just can't do that right now so angeli wants tuna she loves tuna with crackers she just loves tuna so i got a little tupperware i'm about to cut up the cans of tuna throw a little bit of mayonnaise in there that's all i put in there like a little bit of mayonnaise uh i boil eggs so i'm not gonna put eggs in there right now and uh a little bit of pepper and salt um and uh that's how i do my tuna but i'm just gonna share with y'all you know what i'm doing but yeah we love tuna in this house guys but it has to be with tuna with crackers or with bread that's the only way like we'll eat it i love tuna sandwiches they remind me like of baby showers i don't know because out here in houston if you go to baby shower you're gonna find some tuna sandwiches and bread so yeah that's my baby wants for lunch so let me open these cans and give it to her because she acts like she can't wait one more second look at her she's nearly following me look she's waiting for me
she's about to shower. <laughs> and every time she does her own hair, she puts her in that one little ponytail. But look, yeah, she gets just the, the, um, guys, I usually add eggs to this. You could put spinach. I put spinach before for her because they can't really taste it. You know, spinach is really good for them. Um, but I don't have spinach. I gotta go pick that up from my order today. But, um, see, she just puts it on the cracker and eats it like that. And she loves it. She can eat that every day. <laughs> so I'm finishing mopping up my house and I got this down, the living room down pat so far. Look at this flower over here, guys. My husband got me this flower and I had it in my room, but it wasn't doing too good in my room. Like, it, it didn't look happy at all. So I put it right there by the table, right there by the by the window hoping that it'll probably like it right there i don't know we'll see you know if you have plants you know that there's certain spots and certain places the plants like being and they like having sun and i think that plant right there is the plant that likes having sun i had it in my room i had it in my room so i thought i had something crawling back there i want to make sure i wasn't crazy i had it in my room but i think it was a little too dark in my room i had it I had like in a corner on top of my dresser because i love to like have flowers in my room just gives it life I, even though i just have another flower in there but um this flower just wasn't happening in my room at all. It was just sad. Like I said, you have to be a plant lover to understand plants. And I know when my plants are sad, they're not doing too good. My husband went to Walmart the other day. He bought me some big old pots. And we put my big old tree in it. He got me a tree. Um, and um, I forgot what it's called. I don't know the name of the tree, but it needed a bigger pot. Long story short, it needed a bigger pot. And it wasn't doing too, too good. And I was real close taking it to my mom's house and to go plant it at my mom's. My mom where my mom lives at and the land she lives at. Because she has, as y'all. My mom has a lot of land. I never showed, I never showed the whole land, but my mom has, my mom has a, like a lot of room, a lot of land right there she lives at, where she put flowers and stuff. And I wasn't taking it to her, but my husband bought me that plant for our anniversary, so I can't just give it up like that. And I'm like, well, it has to be like in a bigger pot or in the ground somewhere. So the other day he went to Walmart, he got me the big old pot and got me bags of uh, dirt and all that. So um, yeah, I went out there yesterday with the kids and that was a little project we did. We fixed my plants and all that. And I love plants. I really, really do. I, I love plants. But yeah, let me finish mopping because like, I got the mop sitting right there waiting for me. So yeah, let me get to it. And I have to wash dishes. <laughs> I got peanut butter. I know. Got butter finger and and uh. I love the, the little nuts on the side though. It was good. It was just too much, baby. I wanted a small one. 